All right. Oh, stool. We haven't used these in eight years, dude. I haven't sat down in 14 long, long years. Seconds. This is probably. You can move this, this if you want. I don't want this. You know what that is? A mixture of shit. Is it? Yeah. What got in that glass? I don't remember. You put a mixture of stuff for the picture. Oh, it's not good. Yeah, not great. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Dan. He's Sean. Tonight, we tell four people what we think they should buy for Here, their collection. Here's what you should drink. Welcome back, we're the Brim Yogis. He's Dan, I'm Sean. Tonight, we do a little uh, collector's corner. Oh, thank God those are gone. <laughs> that was not worth it. I regret all of it. I regret the whole thing. Seems like we're in it. I know. They'll you see. need to be in it. Yeah. Anyways, collector's corner. <clears throat> First time in 2020. How these oh. work, generally. Um, people, generally. we have a bunch of submitted collections. There are, we're gonna actually go through four today. Yeah. So we're gonna try to catch up a little bit. We, yeah. we get a lot. These are probably old as hell and everything that we say, probably outdated. I'm sorry if we tell you to buy something you already have, but if we did, great minds think alike. Yeah. We're gonna tell you uh, two different bottles, basically an obtainable, viable, not expensive bottle. And then we're gonna tell you a splurge bottle, two things we think, we think you should add to your collection. I'm dying. Some notes Those here. pretzels are fucking killing me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the patrons know why. Oh my gosh, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, patrons know why. So, a mistake. <sighs> um, but yeah, those two bottles should help either further your collection or we think that you would enjoy them based on your collection. Those are the, those yeah. are kind of the routes mm, we're taking here. Mm, so, mm. first collection. Numero uno. Collection pictures will be up on the screen. Um, William Wheelook. Dude, do you think the lot of monster is real? No. Okay. Like a weird. I don't. I don't know. I how disagree you with you. That to that to lock. Will lock. Lock. Lock this monster. Anyways. William Lock said, "Here's my bourbon bar. Test a few pictures here. So we got um, store pick makers. Makers 46. Sean's favorite thing ever. Yep. Dude, uh, I've heard good things about Wyoming whiskey before. I'm gonna be honest. The E. H. Taylors kind of stick out to me. Yeah. In this collection, because I think it's because of their unobtainability mm -hmm. that. All the rest of these bottles you could probably find most of the time at this point. Yeah, Wolf Wars are 1920. Mm -hmm. uh, Henry Hamikina. But yeah. So, um, dude, I've never had that Sill House Black label. I can't buy whiskey in a metal can. I can't buy whiskey in a metal can. I can't do it. What I saw is you got the huge scalers. You, you like that proof. Sal. Nice little hunter proof. Yeah. You have the old Forester 19, is that the 10? 20, that's a 20. Is that 1920? Okay. 115. Um, I, I can't see Booker's, it. Booker's, barrel proof. Yep. Okay. I'm going with uh, old Forester 1897, which is their bottom bond. That's wrong. So, okay. I'm going to go with Ronnie Vibri. Okay. You got a couple high watches. You got an American Prairie and a Campfire. I genuinely believe you have two of their not as great offerings. Yeah. So, Rendezvous. I think Fantastic. Dude, you don't, here's Double the thing. Double rye, fantastic. He doesn't have a lot of rye. It looks like no. he's got a straight rye from me. He Taylor, Saz. A Saz rye, a baby Saz. Yeah. Um, I know campfires are a blend of those things, but I think that Rendezvous rye is the gentlest offering, even mm -hmm. though it's more expensive than Double rye. I think it's their gentlest offering into the rye world, rye. and it's fantastic. Okay. So, I'm gonna go with that. And then your splurge. You got Angel's Envy. And there's one bottle, the best, one of the greatest Finished whiskeys, probably made. Dovetail? That's pretty good, honestly. Angel's Cask. Oh. Angel's Cask is better than Dovetail, though. It's close. Do you think Dovetail's better? Do you like Dovetail I more? I love Dovetail. I know you do. Do you like it more than Angel's Cask? Mm, Not sure? Okay. That one is, I mm. Anyways. No, um, that, that's, I, would, I honestly. That's tough. Yeah, they're both good bottles. Um, you want your left hand or your right, you know? I, I get that. You want the stranger or you want the every day, every Friday morning before work. You took weird. So um. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Angel's Cast Strength. Um, I think it's around $200 bottle sometimes. I paid 220 for the first one. Yeah. I paid like 180 for the second one. Um, They're so good bottles of whiskey. is a splurge because of the secondary market. I don't know your availability. It's hard but, to find. Yeah, it is very hard to find. Yeah. But if you find it for retail, kill oh, it. Oh, it's a, at, at retail, it's not even a splurge. Yeah, Eve's Taylor, barrel proof, 
finish off that line, it is one of our favorites of the offerings. Yeah. They do it every year. Fantastic. They release yeah. it every year. So it makes it a little bit more obtainable yeah. than the four grain or something. It is there. that exact same flavor profile that you yeah. get through the like the single barrel, yep. elevated, you get more proof. Oh, so good. Yep. Okay. Who so, we got next, Dan? Austin Hubbard, and I know your collection's changed since you sent us these photos. So if we're wrong, quite a while ago. It was September. So I'm sorry, sir. But I love Dan. He just didn't want to shoot these. He was like, no, I'm not ever gonna uh, do that again. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Uh, Austin Hubbard, sir. My lord. Um, huge supporter of the channel. Has a whole shelf on our live stream set, by the way. It's the uh, the main shelf it's right the behind us. The main shelf right behind us. He sent us a lot of bottles. Great guy. Amazing person. Um, listen, pictures are up on the screen. Oof. Tons of High West. Oh, yeah. That's how I know that. He's your people. That's why he writes Team Dan on all these bottles. I get it. Needless to say, um, Redwood Empire. Empire. Yeah. Amazing. That's the uh, the original one. The old label. The old Burr Ride. Willet, Michter's, all that stuff. Ton Dude, That's a we've lot of seen bookers. even way more book. He has yeah. way more bookers than that now. We yeah. know that. Because he had the box of sideways he's filling up with. He already had a 30 when he sent us that picture. Uh, he's got the all the bars down. Mm -hmm. I think, I believe that he told us his uh, favorite was that was Pfeiffer. That, yeah. The yeah. big, the hitter. We call this picture the hitter. Yeah. The hitter, dude. Mm -hmm. Revival, amazing. Jim Beam, uh, port, is it port or sherry? Sherry uh, finish. Sherry, 100% sure. Sherry finish, amazing. It's not Maybe? port. I'm 100% sure. Okay. What was um, your first, uh, your non splurge? So my non splurge That's is going to be it. Russell's Red Label Single Barrel. Single Barrel. I didn't see that in there, and you need it. The end. You do. 55, 60 buck range. Yeah. He's got and, Florida pricing. And that's one of our favorite like store picks. Oh, it's among the best store pick. I think that you can do. Yeah, 110 proof. Nice price on her for 110 Fantastic. proof. Fantastic. Good age on it. It's, it's great whiskey. Yeah. For my non-splurge, and I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm saying this as a non-splurge to Austin specifically, because <laughs> it's going to feel a little bit like a splurge due to availability. Okay. Larceny Braille proof. He's got a normal larceny 55 in here. Bucks. He's got a normal larceny in here. I, I, I can't hate it. It's, it's $55 and it blow and I know that he like I know he can handle some I proof. I don't know why you're hating on it, because it's cheaper than what I just said. It's the same price. Yeah. Uh, it could be five bucks cheaper, yeah. yeah. It might be a little harder to find is the only reason. But, dude, I'm telling you, I, he might already have one, dude. He might already have one. If you have one, bell me white label. Anyways, what's your splurge? <laughs> no, go ahead. Um, my splurge, I'm gonna go with uh, Cornerstone Rye from Wild Turkey. He's you got a right. revival in there. Uh, I know he's got a Willet in here, a yep. barrel proof Willet, a Michter's barrel strength. Yeah. Uh, mine was a Michter's barrel proof bourbon. That's a damn good bottle, dude. We had that before we started. The end. I don't, I, I don't, I shouldn't have to preface that bottle. Yeah. Anytime I see that, I'm like, oh. And I have it, and I'm like, wow, that's better than I remember. Yeah, it's good whiskey. Um, it's just fantastic. It is good whiskey. You'll enjoy it. Okay, so thank you, Austin, buddy. Thanks for sending us. Thanks for all the channel support. Thanks for sending in your collection. Sorry it took so long for us to get to it. We're, we're coming back. We got some steam. We got a these. little behind on the old yeah. collections. So, okay. Third one we're going to do. We got Sir Kirk Grieving. I don't think you're far off. I'm pretty sure that's right, dude. Sounds like... Grieving, grieving, something like that. So we got a couple pictures up on the screen right now. Um, Templeton, Makers 46, Waller Special Reserve, Old Forester 1870. Mm -hmm. A little. What, what is that tin cup? And then yeah, that's, uh, that's Saz Rye. What's that? No, no, I'm sorry. That's um, that one, the Sagamore. What is? Isn't that what that is on the right? No. What is that? What is this thing? That's a weird bottle shape. It's the wrong bottle shape for Sagamore. Wait, the it, font looks the it same, looks though. It looks like the uh, Russell's rye, but, but it's, red. Yeah, but it's red. The fuck is that? I have no idea. That might that's, be like a craft or something. Well, that's why I thought that was a Sagamore rye. There's a that's, Stranahan back there. Eagle Rare back there. I'm like, look, it's got that almost same thing of the Sagamore cast drink. Right? It has the same font. Like the rye. Yeah. It's real big. Huh. And then the Booker's H Taylor. Got Angels. Got Blood Oaths. Blood Oaths. That three of them? Four yeah. and five? Four or five? I don't know what, that might be a two maybe? I'm not sure what the middle one is, but mm -hmm. got a small batch. Wins, Caribou Crossing, some Stag Junior. Solid Buffalo Trace set up there, honestly. Mm hmm You got a couple higher proofs here, mm -hmm. so. Ready, um, ready to rip it? Yeah, let's rip mine, it. Mine, non-splurge. 
non flirt 1792 bottle and bond. One of the greatest bottles I've known to man. I don't know ever. how Dan didn't pick this because he's such an advocate for that bottle. It's the greatest bottle ever. It's a fantastic bottle. Especially um, at $40. I think that fits right in, but kind of also, like proof wise, uh, it fits right in anything that you have. But it's kind of yeah. a little adjacent. I didn't see a lot of 1792 in there. That's true. We both picked the same flavor profile, uh -huh. different mash bills, yep. or different uh, distilleries. But I'm going to go with Woodford Wheat for my non splurge. Yeah. Woodford Wheat is one of the greatest bottles of whiskey ever made. It's fantastic. Like I just said about 1792 bottle bond. 35 bucks? 37.99 here. Okay. Yeah, fantastic. Supposedly, it's, it's an addition to the line, readily available now. Go with the old splurge. Um, right in that same wheelhouse. I'm going to go Larceny Bear Proof. Copycat said that last time. Nope, no you didn't. For Austin? Yep. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I stole it. Um, yeah, I know. Well, just need proof. Yeah. Like, right up that wheat alley, yeah. but it also gives you another take on a different uh, mash bill of wheat. I love it. I think, that, I think that is going to fit better than the Woodford wheat <clears throat> because it's way sweeter. Um, for my splurge, I, I feel like my splurge wasn't even that splurgy either. Mine isn't either. Yeah. Mine, uh, your your and my splurge are oh, actually shit, pretty actually close. close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I recommend 1792 Fulper. Yeah, for a splurge bottle. The only reason I think both of these are on the splurge list because you're spending more on Booker's and Blood Oaths and yep. I mean hell, dude, the Sag Junior could be more than that. But um, the reason they're on the splurge list is because specifically because they're slightly hard to find at this point. But both of those should be even obtainable at this point. Yeah. Or at 80 and under. 1792 has got a pretty good um, footprint of distribution. And yeah. I know Larceny is coming up. It's moving. Their, yeah. yeah. That footprint's going to grow and grow and grow. Kirk, thank you for sending the, the collection. Appreciate you supporting the channel. Oh, shit. Fourth collection. That's eight, if you're wondering. That is not four. Let's get that flex. Fourth collection. There. Jeffrey Wack whipped her out and laid her on the table. Guess what? This table's probably about... Two and a half feet, I give or take. Give or take. That's about how long it is. Yeah. Come to find out. Jeffrey Wax and in, in the old collection. Jeffrey Whack, as I like to call it. There's no age in it. But the pictures are up on the screen. We can just you want to just play Jeez. music while we look through these? I don't know what to do. Okay. All the new riff one? Yeah. It's up. It's all the, the one more. Sorry, I got confused with the weller. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. One. Oh my. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. At Ish. least. Yeah. That's what we can see from this angle. Thirteen new riffs, single barrels. He Jeffrey Wack is a man after our own heart because yeah. Jeffrey Wack's a store pick monster. Yeah, hundred percent. And that's where value is at. Oh. A lot of time. Not all time, but a lot percent. of the time. I'm gonna say a thousand, up in it. Million percent. <laughs> also, a little bourbon junkie long pour coin right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bourbon junkie coin three coming soon. Um Real soon. Yep. So, dude, I you know what I didn't realize the first time? I hmm. really like, look at this the bar. Cabinet? Yeah. It folds out and there's a Glen yeah. holder. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> You're shitting me, right? You're the worst, dude. Okay, so you know what I do like? Go up and look at that thing again. MG. That is everything that you open up for the people that you're like, look at my bourbon. No. Like, oh. Those are all the bourbons you open up for people that you know, are getting into come, it? Yeah. Yeah, I just like, want to hang look, out. Yeah, come out and look at the, the drinks I'll pour for you. Everything else is like, this is what I have hidden myself. Dude, that's a good point because this barrel mm -hmm. is definitely the welcoming, yeah, Woodford yep. Rye, Bullet 12 Rye, which is yep. fan, is one of the best beginner ryes ever. Yep, there's Woodford Rye next to it, 1792 full proof. Then here's the MGP, the and hitter And then that's the stuff that he opened up his sliding cabinet was like, no, this is where it's really These happened. are for friends. Yeah. MGP, this MGP cabinet is hitters yeah. on hitters, dude. I especially love the fact that he's a, he's a uh, Valentine pick in there. Yeah, you got a Mayor Pingree in there. A little it's a blue label, Blue dude. label tenure, dude. Um, and then we got a Mictor's Barrel String, Old Forcer Rye, a Little Book, a Piggy New Riff down. Rye, some High West handsomeness. Now Creek Single Barrel Rye. It's an angel's ride. I didn't even see until yeah. right now. A thousand new riff picks, a bunch of buffalo trace, a bunch of turkey, a little old forcer action. Old Ezra? I didn't see Ezra soon. I think to round out your collection for my non splurge, I'm going double rye. If you find a double rye store pick, buy it immediately if it's under $80. Yeah. They're fantastic. My non splurgy, early times, buy one bond. Do me a salad. Just buy one. You're going to love it. You can't miss. You literally can't miss with, old, with uh, early times. The bottle of the month Fantastic. specifically. Yeah. You can't mess with it. Shit's so good. Um, 
Splurge bottle, I'm going to, listen, I saw an old Fitz 13 in here. Oh. And you might have one by now, because hell, you got George C. Stag sitting next to it. Old Fitz 15. Best one by far. By far. I gotta pitch a fit while you're doing it, so you can pitch a fit while I'm doing mine. It's the best one by far, and you don't have it. Well, they're foolproof. Make it rain, dude. How do you, listen. You, you could just, just trade four of those antique 107s for a full proof. Yeah. Hell, it's fantastic. It's the best one. It's by far. You have that many weather. I can see and almost none of them are open. He's, a, he's also a big fan of store picks, oh, which we've true. seen. Yeah, so well, uh, weather full proof uh, store, picks? store picks are like more rampant than yeah. regular non-store picks. That is a hell of a... Jeffrey Wack, sir, you win collection of the you. day. Yeah. Austin Hubbard, I know, has a lot of scotch. Yeah. A lot of scotch. Yeah. And I know we didn't, he didn't send us pictures of it. He sent us several. He sent picks. us some like, hitter yeah. samples. So, thank you all for sending in your collections. We appreciate it. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. Nailed it. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan Sean. Like, comment, subscribe. Check Thanks out our Patreon everything. below. Don't we have a lot more of these to do. I think we got 50 ish yeah, we'll, collections uh, we haven't we'll done yet. Yeah, we'll start ripping through these a little bit more. Yes. People, people seem to miss it. Yeah. We enjoy doing it. Yep. It's a good time. Absolutely. Cheers. Proof of the pour. There you go. Oh, I nailed it.